The big new reveal that was supposed to come today, Monday, October 25th, thankfully actually did come, and it was surprisingly a 2-in-1 deal. This video will contain spoilers for Update 6.66, specifically for Battle Mode 2.0, so if you just want to wait until tomorrow to see what's up, you may want to click off of the video now. For those of you that are still here, I hope you enjoy the video, and if you do, please consider leaving a like and subscribing, I would really appreciate it. Going over to the Doom social media pages, we can see a new post that reads, What a horrible dread night to have a curse, and with that, a short video clip is attached. The short video clip shows the dread knight in the first person perspective, shooting a ball of energy and seemingly teleporting to it. Afterwards, it switches to the slayer's perspective, and the slayer shoots at the dread knight with the plasma rifle. This clip is pretty exciting since not only does it announce the Dread Knight as the first playable demon post-launch, but it also seemingly shows off the new map that was announced during QuakeCon 2021. Both the Dread Knight and the new map will be launching with Doom Eternal's Update 6.66, which releases on October 26, 2021. Breaking down the clip, we can see that it obviously doesn't have too much to offer aside from giving us a look at one of the Dread Knight's new abilities. At first, I thought this looked like a dash move, paper thin energy ball attack, but examining it more closely, it seems like the Dread Knight teleports to this energy ball. He does a little spin animation from the teleport, as you can see from the Slayer's perspective, so it's likely that the Dread Knight will be our second playable teleporting demon. This teleport seems really useful for quick cross-map traveling, which will be great for putting pressure on the Slayer and tracking him down quicker. Judging by this ability and how in-your-face the Dread Knight is as a normal AI demon, I think it's safe to assume that this new addition to the demon roster will be very useful at close range and can be deadly during intense moments. The map itself doesn't look all too unique, and it's not an entirely new location, but rather a larger arena with an Amoran theme. The map's name will be Stronghold, and will seemingly feature a pretty open area with tons of cool paths and portals. I would also like to briefly talk about a small announcement Hugo Barton made after last Thursday's Horde Mode reveal stream. It seems like the faltering system was ironed out and somewhat fixed, as it's getting an update during 6.66. It's pretty nice to hear about that, as the faltering system can be a little inconsistent at times, so hopefully this will help things go smoother. Pair that with the new full auto buff, and things are looking pretty sweet. That's all I have to talk about for today's video, though. I hope you enjoyed the announcements. If you did and want to see more content, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. It would really help out the channel, and I would genuinely really appreciate it. If you want to support the channel and get something in return, you can always visit the Horde Mode Gaming merch store and use code H-O-R-D-E at checkout for $5 off. This code only lasts until November 1st, so I would go ahead and use it while you can. A link will be on screen now and in the description and pinned comment if you're interested. Make sure to check out the official Horde Mode Gaming Discord server as well, it's a great community and I would love to see you there. Anyways though, that's all I have for you today, thank you all for watching. Until next time.